the sheep and goats here? Can you identify them? Welcome back to the Adventure Brothers show. I'm Cobra. I'm Frog. Today we're going to explore the differences between sheep and goats. Goats and sheep. Sheep and goats. Let's start with their similarities. They are closely related. Close, 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 close. Roughly the same size. They both are owned by humans. That means they are domesticated. They both have ruminant stomachs. That means they have four stomach areas. They both have rectangular pupils. It helps give them a better range of vision. They can see 320 to 340 degrees, which helps them spot predators. Both sheep and goats provide milk and cheese, although it's more common for goats. Both can have horns, too. Let's talk about the differences. A sheep's tail usually hangs down, and a goat's tail usually sticks up. Most sheep do not have horns. There are quite a few that do, though. Usually have thick horns that curl downward. And goats usually have straight horns. But check out this rock of sheep. They're known for those spiky horns. They're from Hungary. Their horns are very unique, and both male and female sheep have this kind. There are goats that have beards, and sheep do not. I wish I had a beard. And sheep have a divided upper lip. And you can also tell by their fur sometimes. Well, it's not consistent among all species. Sheep typically have thick, woolly coats, and they need to be cut. That's called shearing. Some breeds have hair coats instead, like this one. Goats generally have hairy coats, but their hair can be very different from one another. Some can be curled, some silky, and some coarse. Kind of like we all have different hair. Let's talk about the way they behave. As far as their eating habits go, sheep will graze. They eat lots of grass from the ground. Well, goats browse and graze. What I mean by browse is that they look for leaves, twigs, vines, and shrubs. They have really great agility, and they can climb to find food. Here's another behavior difference. When sheep are lost and wander away, they're happy to see their shepherd. When goats run away, they resist being brought back. Goats are a little more spunky. Goats are curious. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? And they tend to explore more than sheep. Sheep like to stay together. They're both highly social, but goats are a little more independent. Sheep find it stressful to be away from the other sheep. They like to be part of their flock. Let's talk babies. Well, they're both super, super cute. They're called something different. A baby sheep is called a lamb, and a baby goat is called a kid, even when it's a baby. Mm. Here's another interesting thing we found out. Some goats can have long ears like this one. Look at those long, flappy, boppy ears. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Some sheep have long ears too, like this one. Its ears stand up. These are border lester sheep. Let's look at this video again. This is a goat, and this is a sheep. Now you know. Hey, it's joke time. Jokey time. I've got one. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a goat. How long have you felt like a goat? Since I was a kid. I get that <laughs> joke. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Subscribe to the show. Do you just hang No. No.